So let's talk about automatic flow devices. So we have here, this is the Victaulic 76V automatic balancing valve or automatic flow limiting flow control valve. Now what this is, is the cartridge style automatic flow control valve. Um, basically it has a cartridge in there that maintains constant flow by, with a variable orifice that changes its CV to adjust itself for varying differential pressure conditions. So it's a pressure independent control uh, flow control device. Since this is an automatic flow control device, it doesn't really have, it's not a control valve. Uh, it basically provides you a constant flow rate uh, depending on whatever the differential pressure is for the system. So it um, doesn't mean you can't control it with an on-off controller because there are going to be times where you want to be able to shut off the flow to the system. It's just that it has some difficulties when you try to use it with a modulating type control valve. Right now I have both of these systems set up. We're at about 2.5 GPM on either one. This will have a 2.5 GPM cartridge in it. And again, I'd say 2.5 GPM cartridge, meaning that in order to change the flow rate on here, you have to change out the cartridge. It's a, each cartridge will have a prescribed flow rate, and you have to match the cartridge to the design flow rate for the system. On the other hand, the 7MP is an adjustable CV device. Right now, we have a modulating control valve attached to a, a 76V flow control device. Now, right now, and we're at our maximum flow, but when you consider a system, your system is going to operate at 50% of load or less 70% of the time. And when I say 50% of load, I mean 50% of heating or cooling load. I'm not talking about 50% of flow. So if you look at a, a characteristic curve for a coil, 50% of your heating load is actually going to be at 20% of your flow rate. So now you're not operating at 50% of your flow. You're actually operating at 20% or less of the flow rate through the valve. So you want a valve with con during con when it controls to be able to accurately go to that position when the signal tells it to. So let's look at what happens with the two valves. I'm operating on a 2 to 10 voltage signal, so half of my signal is going to be 6 volts. So let's turn both of those valves to 6 volts. Now, what I should be looking for is since I'm looking for half of my signal to be 50% of my cooling or heating load, my flow rate should go to about 20%. So you'll see the modulator got there very quickly. We're now at a roughly 20% of our flow rate. So we're still not enacting much change in flow rate because what's happening is as this is shutting down, it's reducing the differential pressure across the, the automatic flow control device, but it's not reducing it beyond its operating range. So this device will continue to open itself up to allow the flow rate to its design point until you get to the point where this control valve completely overwhelms the differential pressure on the, on the auto flow device, and then you'll start to see some change in flow. So here, we're at 50% of our signal, we should be at 20% of our flow like we are on the modulator, but now we're still at about 80% of our flow rate. So we're really not getting good control. Now, let's see what, what it takes to get us down to 20%. So let's go to five volts. Okay, going lower, but we're still at about 40% of our initial flow rate. So we're still not really getting good control out of, the, out of this valve. One, we're not getting good control. And then two, if I go one step further, I go to three volts. Now the valve is closing completely. I'm getting no flow through the system. So what's happening now is I'm getting bad control. I'm still using the thermostat to control the system. But now I have a valve that either I can have a valve that is going to give me good control and give me good heat output or cooling output, or I can get a, a valve that gives me very poor heating or cooling output and winds up sitting there hunting all day. Contrast is constant flow, adjustable flow. So if the system parameters change, you're not taking cartridges out and having to replace cartridges. Uh, you're just adjusting the valve. Additionally, when it comes to flow measurement, you'll notice there's PT ports on the 76V. Uh, those PT ports aren't for flow measurement like they are in the other TA product. They are for just to verify that you have adequate pressure differential to operate the cartridge in the system. That cartridge will have a range of differential pressures that it works on. It'll be 2 to 32, 2 to 60, depending, depending on the cartridge you have in there. They'll use these PT ports to make sure that that cartridge is within our operating range, but it doesn't give you any means to verify flow. On the other hand, the, the modulator, by deactivating the differential pressure controller, you can take the TA scope, hook it up to the valve, and you're able to get an accurate measurement of what the flow rate is through the valve.